the Audi FIS World Cup Racing Tour travelled from North America to the Italian Dolomite for downhill and giant slalom action in Val Gardena and Alta Badia. The crowds had come in their thousands to see the world's best in their first speed race of the season in Europe. And the opening downhill of the two in Val Gardena on a shortened racetrack was to go to the Austrian, Vincent Kriegmeier, his first win of the season, first speed win of the season for the Austrian ski team. The defending world champion of downhill in Super G makes great preparation for the big races in February 2023. Kriegmeier, top of the table, but only just ahead of Marco Odomat, who was making his downhill debut in Val Gardena this weekend, with the triple Olympic champion Matthias Meyer taking third position. Downhill victory number five for Vincent Kriegmeier, top of the table in the first of the two speed races in Val Gardena. The men's supergiant slalom had to be cancelled due to rain, snow and fog on the racetrack. Unsafe to race, a wise decision from Marcus Waldner of the FIS and the local organizer. On to Saturday and the weather gods were with the 100th World Cup event hosted by Val Gardena. They've been racing here since 1969. And in 2022, the second race was to go to the championship leader and the defending downhill champion, Alexander Ormont Kilder. Seen here, recording his third downhill win of the season to stay comfortably top of the downhill tour standings. Fifth in the first race, first in the second. Kilda delighted to be at the top of the table, ahead of the veteran Johan Claret, and a good result for the Italian, Matteo Cass, in third position. But it's Kilda at the top of the standings. Amazing to be in Valgarena, as always. The crowd from top to bottom just uh, shouting at you and uh, oh, cheering you up. That's such an amazing feeling crossing the finish line, especially with green, green numbers. The tour travels just over the valley to the spectacular resort of Alta Badia for a double header of giant slalom racing. The Gran Riza is one of the toughest pieces on the tour and it was conquered by one of the most exciting and youngest of all the Vikings, Lucas Braten, ringing with confidence after a brilliant slalom win last weekend, here seen taking his second career victory in World Cup giant slalom. Broughton, who watched this race as a youngster, delighted with the win ahead of Christofferson by just two hundredths of a second, and Odomat on the podium yet again. But it's the 22-year-old Viking that celebrates on day one in Alta Badia. Day two was to be a different story, with the big names of the sport climbing to the top of the table. Marco Odomat, who was so disappointed with his performance 24 hours earlier, was determined to show the world his best. The Olympic giant slalom champion, the defending World Cup giant slalom champion, brought his A-game on day two to the Gran Riza, with Marco Odomat recording his third giant slalom victory of the season. Odomat has recorded nine podiums from ten races. Here, ahead of Christofferson, runner-up for the second time, and Jan Kranjets of Slovenia taking third. A brilliant performance from Marco Odomat, clearly ahead in the giant slalom rankings and at the top of the table too in the overall tour standings. In giant slalom, he's 95 points clear, and in the overall standings, 271 ahead of the rest of the world. The tour moves on to Madonna de Campiglio. And don't forget, play the Fish Predictor Challenge now and register at Fish Predictor Challenge, FIS-Ski.com. <laughs>